I'm Jim Circling with Paramount Pool and Spa Products, and I'm the Technical Support Manager. And with me today is Dominic Kahn, one of our head engineers. We're going to talk about the installation of the new Paraskim and Paraskim V skimmer. This skimmer is very revolutionary, and because of it, it requires differences in the installation of the product. It is imperative that your superintendents, plumbers, steel, gunite shotcrete, deck, pool finish, and startup crews fully comprehend what they must do differently. This video will be broken down into segments so each phase can be viewed by the responsible crews. When you order a pair of skim, you will need to decide what throat color, ring, and lid color, and whether you want a skimmer only, skimmer with venturi action, or a skimmer with venturi action and ozone feed. If you are going to also feed ozone, you must order the ozone injector kit. This kit is optional and must be ordered with the Paraskim V so the kit can be sent out with the skimmer for the plumbing crew. The packaging has been designed so a builder can remove the items and store them for the different phases of the install. The plumbing crew will need the skimmer body. The deck crew will need the lid and ring if being used. The pre-finished crew will need the return guard body. The startup crew will need the weir door, return guard faceplate and screw pack, basket, venturi nozzle, and if being used, the rest of the ozone injector kit. Tools the plumbing crew may need. A flathead screwdriver, a drill. If doing an overflow, they'll need an inch and a half hole saw. And if doing the ozone injection, a 5 8 or 3 quarter inch drill bit. When installed with an ozone injection kit, the tube adapter and the quarter inch NPT plug must be installed by the plumber. The remaining parts in the kit must be saved for the other phases of install. To attach the ozone adapter fitting and plug, drill out the 3 quarter inch socket with a 5 8 to 3 quarter inch drill bit for the feed line first. Then thread the plug into the fitting and glue the fitting into the 3 quarter inch feed pipe. Then glue the pipe plug in first into the skimmer. Refer to the install instruction packet with the skimmer. They must also plumb a Hartford loop in the line above the water level before running the line over to and stubbing up at the equipment pad. If the overflow is used, it must be drilled out with up to an inch and a half opening. The tools the steel crew may need include a tape measure. On the Venturi skimmer version, the steel must be at least 5 inches from the 2 inch pipe going from the skimmer to the pool in all directions. The tools needed by the gunite crew would include a tape measure. The gunite must be cut back at least 5 inches deep by a 6 inch diameter around the 2 inch Venturi line pipe. You must remember to clean off the outside of the pipe so the return guard can be glued on by the plaster crew. The tools that may be needed by the deck crew would include a hacksaw. The deck ring, if being used, goes on the skimmer with the two vertical slots fitting directly into the back suction safety to relief. After determining the correct height, the front slot should be cut out with the hacksaw so it will not interfere with the throat of the skimmer. The tools that may be needed by the pre-plaster or pool finish crew would include an inside pipe cutter. To set the return guard body, cut the 2 inch pipe 3 inches back from the front of the gunite and glue the return guard body onto the outside of the pipe. Place tape over the screw holes to stop pool finish from filling them. <music> Tools that may be needed by the startup crew. A flathead and Phillips screwdriver. The small head removal tool. If ozone is to be fed into the skimmer, the rest of the ozone delivery kit will be needed to be attached to the skimmer by removing the NPT threaded plug. The NTP plug should be saved for winterization if needed. First, blow out the lines. Install the Venturi with O-ring. 
If this is a Venturi skimmer with ozone injection, install the tubing for the Venturi, being sure to have the short end connected to the dual nozzle. Then insert the dual nozzle into the port in the bottom of the skimmer. Then connect the long end of the tubing to the port in the side of the skimmer. Install the return guard cover using the large three screw holes, rotating the fin so that it is pointing up. First, remove the basket. If it is a Venturi skimmer, remove the Venturi nozzle and tubing, if ozone is being fed to the unit. Remove the Venturi return guard cover and plug with an Anderson number 180 2 and 3 quarter inch test plug and then drain the skimmer. Blow out the ozone feed line from the equipment pad. Use the threaded NTP plug saved by the startup crew to plug the ozone line. Then blow out all other lines as normal. Place all items removed into the skimmer basket and save for the pool opening. Protect the skimmer the way you would normally, using antifreeze or other means. In some cases, it may be better to use a couple of gizmos and a piece of foam rope in the return pipe to add additional protection. Training your crews with these suggestions will lead to a seamless install.